So for Apple CarPlay and the TouchPro dual system, the USB port is actually in the center console. You'll see two USB ports there. It actually does not matter which one you use. You can plug it into either one. Now it's important to note that we do recommend that you use an Apple cord, as a lot of the aftermarket cords do not transmit the data properly. Um, in this case, we did make sure that our cord worked, but use an Apple cord when you can. Hook the other end right up here into the bottom portion of your phone. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to launch the device with Apple CarPlay and if you want to remember it. Up to you. I'm just going to check yes, press Apple CarPlay, and it's automatically going to load everything up here. Now, the apps that are on your phone that work with Apple CarPlay, which won't be all of them, uh, will show up here. So, if you scroll over, you'll have a couple different pages because sometimes all the apps don't fit on one page. But if you want to use Pandora, Spotify, everything works pretty seamlessly throughout the system. So we'll show you what I've been listening to lately. Um, but to go back from there, just hit this button on the bottom left and it'll pull up your apps again. Now, if you like using Google Maps or Waze for navigation, um, those will work through this system. If you want to use the car system and your car is hooked up to Apple CarPlay, you'll see that the first app down here is actually showing Land Rover. If you press that, it'll take you out of Apple CarPlay and back to the factory system.